Hi everybody. So, the demand for sustainable and renewable energy resources has certainly intensified in recent years, probably due to the increase in global concern about climate change and the depletion of traditional fossil fuels. Now, among those various renewable energy options, wind power stands out as promising and eco-friendly as a solution, with the whole area probably being dominated by the traditional horizontal access wind turbine. But these turbines, oh, they're not without their problems. They're prone to lightning strikes, and of course, <laughs> I consider them probably are quite lethal to the local wildlife. If they're not built properly, they have a terrible propensity to fall down because they only really work if you stick them up there in the air. If they overrun, that is, get too fast, the consequences can be catastrophic. And every now and then, they have a terrible habit of bursting into flames for one reason and another. So although traditional horizontal access wind turbines have dominated the wind energy landscape, there is a growing interest in vertical access wind turbines as an alternative and potentially a more efficient option. Unlike their horizontal counterparts, VAWTs have a unique design in which the rotor is perpendicular to the ground. The vertical orientation allows the turbine to capture wind from any direction eliminating the need for complex yaw mechanisms used in HAWTs to align with the wind. There are several designs of VAWTs, the most common designs being types of Dereus, Savonius and helical designs. The Dereus design, which is characterised by a curved blade arranged in a helical shape, is particularly popular for its efficiency and its aesthetic appeal. The major advantages of VAWTs are omnidirectional wind capture, simplicity and durability, low noise levels and scalability. And the disadvantages, or if you like the challenges and considerations, well the well, first one would be start-up torque and cut-in speed. VAWTs typically have a higher cut-in speed and require a minimum wind speed to start generating power and that can be a limitation in areas with lower than average wind speeds. The second one is efficiency at low wind speeds. While VAWTs are brilliant at capturing wind from various directions, their efficiency at low wind speed is generally lower when compared to HAWTs. And the final one are the aesthetics and the public perception. Because although the unique designs of VAWTs can be appealing, some folks find them less appealing than the conventional HAWT with the familiar three-blade design. Public perception and aesthetics can seriously impact on the widespread acceptance of new technology like VAWTs. But generally, VAWTs are a promising avenue for harnessing wind energy with distinct advantages. However, more work is required. In the quest for more efficient and sustainable energy solutions, researchers and engineers are increasingly turning to nature for inspiration. Biomimicry is the practice of imitating biological systems and processes to solve human problems, and that's led to innovative designs across a whole range of industries, the notable example being the integration of whale tubercles into wind turbine design. Whale tubercles are small rounded protrusions found on the leading edge of humpback whale flippers. And these tubercles are not merely pretty, they serve a critical purpose in optimising the whale's hydrodynamic performance. Research has revealed that these bumps alter the flow of water over the flipper, reducing drag and increasing lift. And this, of course, makes it a natural adaptation. And that's captured the imaginations of science and engineers seeking to enhance the efficiency of man-made structures particularly wind turbines. So in order to look at all of that in a practical way, what I've done is I've 
created this. This is the blade for a VAW T that we're going to put together. That one is without tubercles and that one is with tubercles. Now it's a very simple design, it's just three blades and you'll find this in Thingiverse, so the link is in the description below if you want the files. But there are three blades without tubercles and we're going to arrange them into a VAW T and to do that we've got these two bots, tops and bottoms and they've got holes in them at 120 degrees and a central hole and then you should have eight of these and one of these. Six of these just get jammed into those holes. You can glue them in with cyan cyanoacrylic glue and we do that with the top and the bottom and then once we've done that we stick those into the blades making sure that the leading edge is all the same direction. When you've done that, that's what you'll get. Now you'll have two more at the same length. One goes in from the top, one goes in from the bottom. Leaving a little bit stuck out. Then you'll have two of these, they go onto there. And we do exactly the same with that one. When you've got that far, you'll find a shorter one. This is, these are 100 millimetres long, this is 75 millimetres long, and it goes directly in the middle like that. And of course, what we need is a couple of couplers. So you slide a coupler on there, and then another coupler on that side. Then you pop that in between, put a bit of glue on there, and slide it up so the coupler is halfway between the two, and you do that both sides, and that will hold it together. When you've done that, grab yourself a couple of 8mm washers and put one on each side. And then a bearing on each side. These are skater bearings, so they're 22mm by 8mm by 7mm thick. And they go on either side like that. And then we're ready to put that into the cradle. To make the cradle to hold this, there's a cradle base and there are two uprights. A bit of acrylic glue and stick those in there. And then we'll be able to stick them together and that'll make the cradle. And then our rotor just clips into the cradle. Now I put a couple of extra washers there to space it out a little bit because it was catching. But we're going to turn a fan on it to see how quickly it will turn in that fan speed. And to measure the RPM, I put a strip of reflective material there. It's just a reflective aluminium strip because we're going to use this, which is a digital tachometer. And it works by bouncing the light off that strip. So it'll count one rotation. So we're ready to go. Now the only other thing we've got to do, obviously, is exactly the same thing but this time with the tubercles. Okay, so I've set up my fan, we'll turn it on and we'll see what happens. Now, commonly, these things don't start to spin all by themselves. I've given a little flick. It's one of the uh, drawbacks of this style. <laughs> Let's give it a flick. So we're getting about 100 RPM. And here's my tubercle version all put together. And we've got the same metallic strip there. We're going to clip it in the cradle and see what happens. We're getting 149 RPM, which is pretty cool, eh? So research is showing that integrating these tubercles into VAWT has four serious advantages. The first thing is it uh, increases efficiency at low wind speed, which is of course one of the bends of VAWTs. The next thing is it reduces noise and vibration, and perhaps a knock-on effect of that is it increases durability, giving them a longer life and reducing maintenance costs. So the last thing is it increases uh, energy capture in turbulent winds, uh, and that is one of the key advantages because these kind of turbines really should be used in urban environments where the wind is always turbulent. Now I've put it this way just to test it but it doesn't really matter if it's in that direction or if it's stood upright. 
in that direction. It's easier for me to put it into a cradle to test it for you and to have a quick example. But there's a lot of ongoing research based on this biomimicry and tubercles are really looking like they're going to make a significant contribution so I thought I would do a video of it. Now of course these files are available if anybody wants them and if you just want the blades by themselves to save, uh, save you drawing them then just take the blades by themselves. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching and please do remember to like and subscribe.